Hi, hello everyone. This is my first post, so please treat me kindly. Uh, it's all about Z80s, and in particular, this particular board for a talking electronics computer. Z80 based, very simple, and pretty much just about anyone who can handle a soldering line could put it together. That's the component side. It's all through hole construction. It's the back of it. Um, unfortunately, my understanding is they're a deleted item. They're no longer in production. But I do have the uh, printed circuit board pattern and most of the patterns for pretty much everything else. Um, it's fairly simple to build. And, as they say, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, it's got a crystal oscillator instead of a capacitor oscillator. Um, yeah, pretty basic. We'll connect up the power and see what happens. Should work. Just a couple of wires off a battery there. Um, yeah, it's got a... Uh, 2K monitor on, which is what controls everything on the board, and 2K RAM, and a, a, essentially a, another RAM socket that's used as an expansion, and a whole lot of bits of wires here to go for other address lines and control lines that I've put on there. Um, yeah, it's quite simple. It's got some software already in it that comes as it is in the monitor. Um, It plays a little tune. It's way, way too fast because, of course, it's running on a crystal oscillator. Um, that's enough of that. Uh, you can develop programs on it in machine code. And, of course, you can then put them onto a standalone board. Which is coming up. There we go. Standalone board. It's got a it's got a little in-out board, it's got some inputs, outputs here, a couple of relays and a little speaker you can use to make tones and the like. Now that's got the program that actually came with the board in it, which is a set of traffic lights for a model railway. Now of course they're all the wrong colours and again running on a crystal oscillator so it's going way too fast. But there you go. Works quite nicely. The board itself has got I.O. ports up here, or output ports up here, and some simple expansion oh, address lines or data lines there. Um, yeah, you can actually make quite a neat little control system out of that. Uh, some of the other stuff that the company sells still is simple logic probe. It's based on a uh, PIC chip there. Uh, it's meant to have batteries here but I've run a couple of wires because uh, the tech board's got a spare spot to plug some wires in to get 5 volts so I plugged it in there. It's also capable of having a secondary probe here that works as a logic pulser so you can inject logic signals into a circuit to try and test it only drawback with that, I guess, is if you put something in, you want to measure what's coming out. When they're on the same board, well, it's got its uses, but probably not as useful as it could be. Um, probably better off with a separate logic probe and a separate logic pulser, but hey, for a few bucks it's good fun to build. There's another talking electronics computer that again it's got some simple software in the ROM it's got a few games and essentially just demonstrates different programming techniques to develop different outputs uh, some inputs over here 
simple dip switches and a couple of push buttons and a speaker. And you can move, you can use the uh, speaker as a logic probe. So we can connect it up to different, and you can hear the different signals around the computer. And uh, it's all been a lot of fun since I was 14 years old, and I thought I might share it in case anyone else wants to find out some information. I'm happy to share it. Um, like I said, I've got different designs here that are all all they're all published in the magazine, printed out uh, relay driver boards, so you can control motors. Uh, that's a design for um, LCD display and believe it or not you can save your data onto cassette with that. That's the design for this one there. Uh, another non-volatile RAM board, power supply board and that's one I recovered out of a very old magazine that you can put different ROMs in and choose um, not a talking electronics design, I think it's out of silicon chip or something like that a long time ago. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can have a, make an EEPROM programmer with it. Um, it's on volatile RAM. And uh, there's a few bits and pieces there. It's a simple board that's got driven transistors and a couple of timers and a bit of logic so that you can have a fiddle. And that's about it. If anyone's interested in finding out more information, there's some of the boards that you can make. Uh, it's a standalone little unit. Um, have a bit of a fiddle with a lot of things, so if there's any information that I can provide, I'd be happy to. And uh, maybe I'll develop some more programs and get to show them. No worries. See you later. Thank you very much.